let's get down to business. How about a hand for our 2008 Cotton Bowl champions and first team all America! Uh, our other honorees today all played football for us. First up, former offensive tackle and nine-year NFL veteran Todd Wade. Next, former safety and Atlanta Falca, Vaughn Hutchins. And former guard and tackle and Oakland Raider, Marcus Johnson. And your 2008 SEC Coach of the Year, Houston Nutt. Shepard has covered news from coast to coast and country to country, but he always finds his way home to Old Miss. Please join me in welcoming Shepard Smith as our MC today. The Rebels were out of town so we could have some folks in from around the country to do some politicking. And uh, all my friends came from all over the world. Like Bob Schieffer came up and said, Shep, I know you don't remember it, but your stepmother was here when Ole Miss was a different place, and I just can't tell you how I'm how impressed I am. Now all you need to do is pull a miracle in the swamp tomorrow. We had the front page on Saturday, and then we had the front page on Sunday. And that was a great weekend, and that kind of got it going, you know. And then you get down to LSU and just spank some time. Michael and Perret, I think they're going to talk about you. Coach, would you do that? You guys met this guy. Um, in case you don't know, this is what football players look like. Shepard, too, now. Wait a minute. He's a do-it-all athlete. You put him at the Wild Rebel and let him go. I want to tell you real quick. These two guys right here are very, very special to me. Uh, I want to start with Michael first. Michael was the first guy that I had to re-recruit. He had uh, his eyes looking over the fence a little bit. He was thinking about going to the NFL early. And I told him, you don't want to do that right now. Not, not right now. I, I recruited him and he didn't give me the time of day when I was at that other school. Michael, what do you want to do? I want to go to school here, and I want to go to a bowl game. I said, we're going to do that. We're going to go to a bowl game this year. I, I just love Michael's heart. He was voted captain and uh, just did a tremendous job of protecting Jevin Sneed, and we really missed him this spring. This is a picture of him and his teammate as All-Americans with Jerry, uh, Parade Jerry on there too, Michael, so we want to present this to you. Thank you so much for a great year. The next guy was also voted captain. And the thing about Parade, when he is in a scrimmage or practice, he finds the ball carrier and he arrives in a bad mood. <laughs> I'll never forget going down the ramp of the Cotton Bowl. Michael was behind me, Parade, and Parade, with tears running down his eyes, realizing this is going to be the last time I play 60 minutes for the Ole Miss Rebels. And he turned back to look at his teammates and say, Do not come out here with me unless you're going to give it your all. And what a leader. We want to present Perret also with the same thing. We appreciate you, Perret. Thank you. Perret, that day coming down that ramp, tell us about what you remember from that. The coach net, you know, looking at us, looking at his face, you know. Man, that just put me in the mind frame of, you know, just going out and giving him my all because I know he gave his all coaching us up for that game. And, uh, man, it was a real <laughs> fun sight looking at all the red and blue, you know. One heartbeat! Chain for us, one heartbeat. <laughs> one heartbeat. <laughs> it 
was quiet in that in that locker room before coach came up and talked. It was real quiet. You were doing a little pacing. Oh yes, sir. I mean, man, it was a very emotional time, and uh, I really had fun and enjoyed every <laughs> part of. It. Michael, what do you remember from that day? Just being uh, being in the bowl for the first time. <laughs> At the beginning of the season, um, you know, we lost a few games, but uh, he's. He still told us, you know, I'm gonna make y'all believe that we're a good team. We went down to the swamp and uh, beat those guys, and you know, start winning out and made it to the Cotton Bowl. And uh, I mean, it was just an unbelievable year for me. For those of you who are interested, Michael Orr will be on Studio B at two o'clock on Thursday. Hi. We'll try to drag Ray in there too, but that—that's kind of a big Friday that follows. How's your head with that, Michael? Uh, I mean, being in New York uh, for the draft is, is big uh, for just being getting recognized on everything. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable and I'm um, uh, blessed and uh, you know, I still can't believe how everything's going for me. Amen. Amen. Weekend. It ought to be a big weekend for everybody. Yes, sir, it is a big weekend. I'm probably going to be with my family, with my mom my brothers and, uh, you know, just wait and see what happens. What do they need to know, Todd? <laughs> you're going to make, make your rookie mistakes, but at the same time, go there and act like a veteran. Go there and play with the chip on your shoulder the whole time play. Vaughn? I'm petitioning the coaches right now to actually pick up a couple of these guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the passion, that parade, you know, the heart of uh, Michael Orr. You know, we need these guys to continue playing and continue doing the things they do, that they've done here, you know, at the next level, you know. Just got to take things upon yourself, you know, and uh, take advantage of the situation, man. But uh, like I say, at the end of the day, you guys know how you got to where you at and uh, just keep pushing and keep, keep fighting. Who talks the most trash? I love trash often stories, so if you've got one, I'd love to hear. You know, I have plenty of stories about trash. <laughs> um, she's usually, she's usually the smaller guys. She's usually the DP. They, uh, they like to, they like to get up at the end of a play, and uh, you know, you, you know, like yeah, yeah, that's what happens to you. Yeah, you know, they, kind of, they, they kind of stand over the pile and things like that. So uh, I was going against Michael Strahan one time, uh, yes. and before the play, he winked at me. <laughs> And I, I, you know, he's, he's just a Howdy toddy. Thank you.